guys hope you guys are ready it's time for an advanced tutorial um, this one is not something that I do uh, very often because it's time-consuming this one takes time um, but it's all worth it that's the main reason why I made this tutorial so you guys can enjoy it also it's fucking badass all right um, all right, so let's start with this. And by the way, guys, at the end of the video, uh, I'm gonna give you like a, a website to go, which is one of my sponsors. They have like uh, special on wires, those nice wires that I do crazy colors with, the hybrid uh, wires, uh, they're on special. I think it's like five bucks a pack or something like that five ten bucks a pack but I mean they're really cheap and they're all worth it so you guys got to go check it out so for now let's move on to what you will need to do this build all right see you in a moment and this is what you will need to attempt at this beautiful build um, first of all you will need as for gauges some 32 gauge and nichrome I'm gonna use some 32 gauge uh, hybrid to fuse them together and they're from uh, cloud chaser uh, we got a deal on those uh, I'm gonna give you all the infos at the end of the video about uh, the hybrid wire you can get them for pretty damn cheap all right so check this out um, all right, you're gonna need some 32 gauge. You're gonna need some 34 gauge Some 36 gauge and some 28 gauge um, You will also need uh, the traditional cutters and long nose uh, You're gonna need it's up to you to do it on a two or a three millimeter drill bit some tweezers some scissors and I got myself some of those uh, I can't remember how you call those in English but anyway they lock all right there 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 they lock in place you'll get why I got those uh, those because they work so good especially when you do uh, some crazy ass uh, clapton like I do all right uh, masking tape will help you a lot some wick wicking tool a nice big addy very important because this build is gonna be big you will need of course a drill and something will, which will be uh, so much help to you for this especially when we'll start fusing all of them together it's something like this uh, you should try to get one you can get one for pretty cheap on Amazon or eBay so check them out all right they work good otherwise they get ready to get close to your coil all right so uh, let's move on and start this thing well, now it's time to take the 34 and the 36 and do some uh, clapton so now the clapton we will make it's gonna be a clapton that it's gonna be about as long as you can make the clapton and this mean it has to be over a yard I say all right because you need a lot of clapton for this so let's start doing this and for people that don't know why my tube my tube is to avoid the wobbling
right guys so here we have it about a yard long so now you go ahead and make a second one like this all right see you what you need to do is you take the 28 gauge Cut yourself about like a 30 centimeter, 40 centimeter. Just straight the wire for now. All right. Once this is done, guys, what you gotta do is to cut it in half. I'm gonna need two pieces. Instead of having to straight two pieces, we straight one and cut it. All right, so now I got this piece here. Okay, so now what we gonna do is we gonna clatten the very long clatten that we just made over this. always make sure it's very well centered all right so now you remember earlier guys I was telling you about like these the reason why I got these is because when you do like crazy ass clapping like this uh, you hold on to it a little bit and that spreads the clapping by clamping the other end like this with those scissors I just let them on the ground First, always add a weight to it, and second of all, avoid it from uh, spreading my clapton as I'm doing it. All right. So now, this part though, you gotta go slower than the normal clapton. like one more time go sorry I'm off screen guys pretty nice wire oh, I don't know if it's gonna focus I'll show you in a moment if you like these check these out 
You like these? You can do anything with these. These are fucking uh, flavor soaker coils. These are crazy wire. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fuse these just like uh, if we staggered them. Uh, because since that wire on top it's loose, we'll be able to put it in the groove. But this part's gonna take forever to do, guys. All right, so get ready. Be right back. So here's what we're gonna do. Here at the, the tip, you always have the two uh, core sticking out. What I usually do, I squeeze them hard with my finger and I just twist them together so they just stay together like this, all right? After this, I'm gonna take one tiny piece of masking tape and I'm gonna secure this right there in place to make sure they don't move while we work with our wire All right very important the other end we're gonna let it uh, uh, loose so the wire can slide over it you see this one I didn't cut it long enough you need the wire to be like this even maybe a little longer like this because since we're gonna put a wire in between those grooves, it's gonna stretch this wire, all right? So keep that in mind, guys. Just gonna have to cut it. All right, so now, here's the fun part. What you need to do now is, that's exactly where you're gonna need your 32 gauge all right, me, I'm gonna use uh, this one, all right? You can take plain 32 gauge, and what you gotta do, it's pretty uh, simple, all right? All you gotta do, it's to fuse it. But since we don't have a room, like, or a space in between, like a fuse, uh, like a staggered uh, coil, uh, we're gonna have to do this manually the whole way. And uh, trust me, this is gonna take uh, pretty long, so I'm gonna cut the video here and there to show you the progress. Because this type of thing, you need patience. It can take over uh, an hour for some people, and it can take like 15 minutes to others. All right, so if you want a nice result, you need to take your time with it. All right, and the way I do it, the way I start it, just like anything, I just unroll it around my tape and I take another little tape here and I put it over. Doesn't matter that tape we're gonna cut at the end. All right. Perfect. And now one part start that's where you're gonna need these things and I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna film this but I will uh, try but you guys will get what I'm doing and you guys will get the process of it all right so now let's start Once it starts guys, you're gonna get, you're gonna get it. Make sure you don't miss one. If you did, come back. Make sure they're all super tight. I mean, make sure that they reach the bottom, all right? They touch the coil, all right? So now let me do a little bit of it and I'll show you in a moment.
see you guys, that's what it's supposed to look like, but we got a long way to go. So, see you in a moment. This is after 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, this takes time, guys. You see? This long after about half an hour. That takes a lot of time, guys. You see, now I have uh, about this long to do because you see that's what I mean when you get extra the, the wire slide so you don't lose this now I'm gonna lose this maybe a little more of this all right just because I forgot leaving some extra all right so you guys got to leave some extra to it all right see you after I'm done doing this well I'll do a little bit Sometimes you get some speed doing it. When you get at the end, uh, you're pretty uh, on top of it. But you gotta make sure they go right in between each one of them. And if you want me, I just like the way this look with a plain wire when I fuse it. But I did some with a tiny little Clapton like this to fuse it together. It looks fucking badass. I didn't have my phone, so I couldn't take any pictures. Oh. I check this out, guys. That's a pretty nice piece of wire. I went and uh, washed it. piece of wire that's pretty insane really long to do okay so now what we need to do is the last part of it it's to make ourselves uh, 2832 Clapton uh, I'm gonna do um, the core as a uh, night chrome and the wrap the 32 wrap it's gonna be uh, what you seen at the beginning the cloud chaser wire as for those wire guys, uh, if you go on the website, you'll see at the end, maybe you'll see it now, but uh, if you go check out those wire, they are like I think five bucks a pack or something like that. They're like really cheap, they're on sale right now, uh, so we'll check this out. So, see you in one moment for the mount. Hope you got a tie, you had time to vape a little bit and chillax because uh, that was a long one to wrap, right? That's why I'm not too crazy about those time consuming builds. But some time to time, some are worth it, and that one I think it's worth it because it's a flavor magnet like crazy and a clouds like a motherfucker. So now I'm just gonna cut that little extra piece that I had with the tape on it. So now, check this wire. We're gonna clap them this, and not clap them, but coil this and the Clapton parallel all right and the big wire it's gonna be three wrap and the other one it's gonna be one extra wrap to it all right and if you got like a big addy you can do it on a three millimeter a drill bit if not downsize your drill bit Sorry if you can't see me, it's to avoid the noise. Let's see how pretty that is. I'm done with this. Take this. That's what you should get. Alright. I say to rewrap. You can go for wrap, you can do what the fuck you want, because when you get to this kind of coils, 
uh, you pretty much know what you're doing so it's up to you to mount it pretty much the way you want originally I mounted with three wraps all right but this time I think I'm gonna try a fourth one you know what I don't think I'm gonna try a fourth one just because that's right I don't have my uh, series box yet now but holy shit it would look so badass though I gotta put the fourth one <laughs> okay but at first do I have enough to do a second one with four rats So now it's mounting time. That's why you need a big addy with big holes because these are big wires. This is a badass coil. That look amazingly pretty. This is pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. Alright. Need to find a better Allen key. Back in a moment. With the second one, so we're back. Sorry, I had to find a better Allen key because it was tripped. That's one of the reason why I said uh, I hate Allen keys. I just hate Allen keys on Addies. All right, so now let's make the second one. You will see, guys. This is really a nice build, but this is. Badass! It's not something that people see usually either. Alright, so it's gonna go like this. Guys, I wasn't in the screen. Just had to unscrew it to mount it. It's tight. I'm not gonna say it enough how much I hate Allen keys. Right, so now let's move this away so I can't cut this.
right. something but we'll see so yeah here we have it guys we're gonna go ahead mount it and fix it all right so this is nothing like this all right so we'll see you in a moment so now let's try this all right just pulsing it So I'll take a few pictures of this and we'll wick it and try it back soon. Yeah, never too much wick, remember this? Probably sure you know how to wick. If you do, you're not gonna put too much wick. So yeah. And by the way guys, turned out pretty nice the color after pulsing it another couple of times. there is better it is all you need it's the wick to touch the bottom of it the bottom of the well there it might be too much yeah there's a little tad too much because what you need is the wick just to say touch the bottom yeah that's perfect. This a little too much too. There you go. See that's perfect. Yeah. Here we have it guys. Pretty nice. We'll juice this and we'll try this. So guys, how is it? That's a long one, wasn't it? But you'll see it's all worth it. Like I said in a video, make sure like to do three wraps if you don't have any uh, serious box. Uh, because four wraps, uh, it's gonna bring it up uh, way too much. Uh, with four wraps, you're gonna get the point eight. And uh, that's awesome for serious box, but not for parallels, all right? Uh, right now I'm having a high out of a parallel right now, and well, 
still not bad, but I mean, it kicks ass with the uh, fucking series box. Um, yeah. Today, what I'm vaping on, it's Norton Syrup by Vapor Junkie, which is one of my new sponsors. So you guys gotta check them out. They got like crazy ass juice, but you're gonna see uh, quite a few through uh, the videos. All right, but for now, check this out. You guys wanted to do an advanced build. This is an advanced build, and it's a crazy flavor build. Actually, it's a .8 build, but you don't really need a fucking series box check. You see, like, you don't need a .00, uh, what the fuck. This is .8, and check this out. Plenty, plenty, plenty of flavor. Plenty of uh, fucking vape. You guys gonna really like it. Yeah, pretty decent. Remember this, Vapor Junkie? It's a part of it. <laughs> so, yeah, this is it. This is your advanced build, guys. So, <coughs> make sure to like, subscribe share <coughs> and I'll see you soon with another tutorial another review all right so peace guys be safe building and make something nice all right so see you soon ciao